Hi, Jane. Astrid Mueller here with your gift. Um, so I feel inspired to do the recording for you um, since we missed each other. But um, this is like a special thing that I got inspired to do. Um, <laughs> uh, it was this funny thing, right, where <laughs> I had this birthday on Facebook where everybody thought it was my birthday and I got all these gratitude wishes, um, happy birthday wishes, right? And um, that inspired me. <laughs> I wanted to tell everybody it wasn't my birthday yet because Facebook, um, literally, I had to give Facebook a different birthday because they locked me out and wouldn't let me in with my real birthday. So anyway, so I got inspired, as you know, um, to do a gift giveaway. Um, of a free reading of a magic wand which uh, intuitive reading as a gratitude gift as a prize draw from all of the wishes that I got um, and <laughs> um, I just now got inspired to actually go ahead and to um, create this uh, you're the winner congrats <laughs> um, but I decided to go ahead and do the drawing for you um, that in a way that helps you carry forward this energy of gratitude. Um, that's the inspiration that came to me because um, gratitude is one of the higher frequencies for manifesting anything we want um, and dream of when we have this pure heart and no interference and like all that, you know, um, it's magical, right? So yeah. I'm going to do a live drawing for you and feel free to share that with the world and share the gratitude with others um, who may, um, you know, may then uh, like to meet me or whatever. Let's just open the doors of abundance and may they start with you and may more abundance flow to you and whoever feels uh, inspired to uh, reach out to you may reach out to you just because you're in this energy of gratitude and, um, I'm just giving it up to the universe, whatever magic will happen from this video. <laughs> um, but I want to set the intention to allow it to spread the gratitude around the world, whether it's with this video um, and factual being live somewhere or just from the energy because um, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> All right. So here's the drawing that I'm starting to do now. Um, and I am closing my eyes as I do these things. So you get to watch me do it. And as it's actually a mini drawing that I'm doing, um, I decided um, since this is a gift, like I'm not going to do the full um, the full um, version of a huge one, like it feels aligned to give a little magical, little magical ball <laughs> of a drawing. Um, yeah, and there's more magic in my treasure chest for anybody who wants um, a bigger one. <sighs> All right, cool. So I have my creative uh, bag here next to me. I have a bag with scrapbooking stuff and stickers. I have a bag with oil pastels uh, that I use in my intuitive and shamanic transformation mutation uh, paintings as well. And I have some other colors here um, and some more stickers. So how I do this is I tune into the energy of the question and the intention. And, um, and then in that energy, like together with universe that I'm calling in right now for this magical drawing, I am uh, blindly drawing and um, allowing it to unfold. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Whew. All right. Oh, and by the way, they're super powerful. <laughs> they're super cool. You can literally... I have drawings for myself all the time where I set them up um, depending on the topic uh, that I need right now um, to either remind me for, for clarity or to look at them and just feel the energy. They're super powerful. All right, so the, what I, the one I'm doing for you is um, for Jane Jitao, and I hope I pronounce your name right. How can she carry forward this energy of birthday sparkle gratitude to manifest magic in her life? So that's the drawing I'm doing. Now I'm closing my eyes and I'm actually landing on the stickers already. <laughs> Let's see, two back, one, and two. And there's also um, sheets of paper in there. So 
here's one color that wants to come out. Mm. <laughs> okay, here's one thing I did, and you get to see the color. <laughs> and you get to see the sheet that I pulled. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> um, all right, and more colors. Let's see. Hmm. How can Jane carry forward the magical gratitude, energy, birthday gratitude, celebration, sparkle energy to create magic in her life? Okay, two colors right here. <laughs> That's funny, I'm getting very playful things here. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I feel inspired to quickly show the drawing and process, even without opening my eyes. Like I should look at the drawing. So this is what you get to see. I'm not looking at it yet. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see it. You probably saw my PJ pants because I'm actually in my PJ pants right now. <laughs> it's my final feel good Friday, Friday off. Um, but I felt inspired to do this for you today. Um, okay. I feel inspired to add a bit more. There's like some more energy that wants to come in the drawing. Actually, one more color. How can she carry forward this magical energy? Hmm. Just that. And one more. It here. Okay. Okay. And this is actually turning into a fusion of a drawing. It's not just a reading, but it's like one where I'm adding energy to the drawing and the intention, like how you can oh, really. <laughs> Make that happen in your lives so you can already experience it. I actually feel that this um, energy uh, from the drawing will also be palpable for others who see this. So it's a gratitude, sparkle energy for you in the drawing right there. And by the way, it's so cool. Like I'm here on Kodiak Island, Alaska, and I think you're in Russia. <laughs> um, how cool is that? Like around the globe. It's actually part of my vision to reach women around the world, um, to help them bring their gifts to the world in a big way. And so you're already, you're already gratitude for me <laughs> that you saw me somehow. I've never actually met you. So <laughs> this is really cool. Okay, I feel complete with the colors. Actually, there's a little bit more accents that want to come here. Okay, and one sticker wants to come in the middle, apparently. <laughs> but I want to show this real quick so you can see what is here so far. And again, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so, see, sticker, sticker. Okay, inspired to, ooh, <laughs> the sticker bag. Okay, let's see. Yep, and again, this one sticker right here. Hmm. Okay, and that one. Hmm, is there another one? <laughs> let's see. Okay, so one additional thing to come out from my other bag. And what I'm doing, by the way, is like I'm constantly getting out of my logical mind and just tuning into my right brain. This is how intuition works. Um, and I practice this, um, just like really trusting what comes through. And that's the cool place actually where 
um, where we get our best hunches and inspirations for our life and business, right? So I'm just playing from that space and that's the magical space that is our best guidance for all of us. Um, so I'm role modeling that for you. Um, let's see. Okay, this is behind here. <laughs> You're getting a lot of things. <laughs> okay. Um, this one wants to have a heart on it. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, and I think that is the last thing. Man, this drawing is turning into a much bigger endeavor than I thought. <laughs> okay. All right. Is this complete? Yep, I'm getting a yes. <laughs> All right, so now I'm really curious what showed up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Okay, let me see. Um, so I'm already getting insights of what all this means. So I see one my color. I need to pick that up real quick. I rolled away. Um, by the way, this is this is what it looks like right now. <laughs> um, and this showed up. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this showed up. <laughs> I'm so giggling right now. Let me grab the last color. <laughs> Okay, so how I read these and decode these, I look at what colors showed up and each color has a meaning for me. Um, I meditated on the meanings of colors for me personally. And so that's, um, uh, that's what I bring uh, when I decode the drawings. But as you look at a drawing, you may actually also get your own inspiration of what that means to you and how it makes you feel. So mine are just like some guidance, but like don't take it like as a locked in stone, just really as you're watching it, like tune into what it's saying to you. And here's the question that we had. I'm just gonna read it one more time. How can Jane um, carry forward this energy of birthday sparkle gratitude to manifest magic in her life. Um, so this is a shamanic reading uh, transmutation uh, drawing that came out of it actually. So here's the colors that showed up. We have this light gray, which stands, it's kind of like for silver, which stands for magic. And um, I feel there's a lot of that in there. Like that's actually this color. <laughs> so your painting already got transmuted with a lot of magic. It's infused with a lot of magic in here. Oh my gosh, I love that that happened. <sighs> of course. <laughs> um, this color here is blue, light blue, and that's light thinking. Um, so I also have a darker blue color, and um, the darker blue color is usually like the heavier kind of thinking, the left brain, logical, I have to do things this way. So this is clearly like light thinking infused. So um, you um, carry forward gratitude, energy, and create magic in your life if you stay in that light thinking um, where things flow with ease. And that also has to do with operating from your heart and soul and your right brain um, creative, intuitive, innovative um, uh, intuition and manifesting space um, that has all the biggest possibilities. So that light thinking, that is also already infused in the drawing and that's like at the center of everything. So everything you do has to come from that light thinking, like when you catch yourself and I, I love that it's coming through because this actually applies to everybody. So it's not just per, per, pertaining to you, Jane, um, but it's like, it's for all of us. And that's actually part of my uh, coaching teaching is like literally come from your heart and soul and um, access your uh, bright brain, big um, expansive space, uh, like energy space of the right brain, right? Um, that when you start from there, um, we find our best wisdom and our most powerful stuff and we see and receive magic um, and synchronicities and all those best things that really serve us best, that are aligned to our soul. If we start from that light space. Um, a lot of times we're so conditioned by society to start from the heavy space, um, the logical uh, left brain, which has its uh, place, but left brain is really great at um, taking action and building structure and making things happen but if you start there it's really dense and heavy and it doesn't have the magical part in it right um okay so here's the other colors um here's uh 
red that showed up and um, that was actually at the bottom. So the action color, <laughs> it's really interesting. It actually got covered up a lot by the, um, by the magic energy. So there is some action in there of like how you can carry forward the gratitude energy. So you definitely play also with action. There's also a light orange in there, um, which is also an action colors so like the orange is more like action like forward and the red is like a powerful sort of like place of being like claiming your power that kind of action so so those are um all in there and uh, there's playful action underneath and then there's um this burgundy color here <laughs> this is quite an elaborate reading actually <laughs> you're getting the big one you're getting a big gift here um the burgundy color here um, showed up here underneath and then also around here. Um, and that stands for divine feminine um, energy power. And that is not like gender specific, but it's that same energy that I'm talking about um, with the right brain. It's like that and when it lands in your heart, like so we, well, it's not only through the right brain, but it's like, connecting with your soul, that energy, like if you're in your heart and really feel um, connected to your power, that's that color, like really tapping into that. And, and one way how we um, tap into that is like meditation. There's all kinds of Zen activities. Um, they can also be playful, um, but really um, having that calm space, like you can walk outside, go in a shower. And when we get out of our left brain, like, um, the hustle, like mind has to do stuff, like when we really land in that heart space and feeling grounded, um, that that kind of like um, powerful, amazing energy. So that is part of it. Like there was quite a lot of it here and actually shows up like outside of it as well. So to stay in that gratitude sparkle frequency, how you can do that and manifest magic in your life is really like keeping connecting with that uh, power. That's like, um, it's much, much bigger than, um, than like the action step, stuff here. And like, here's this other power piece that is, um, I feel that one, like the red one, the red power um, is a little less the spiritual power. Like it's, it's like, I'm here power and like action kind of power. Um, and this one here is um, uh, very soulful um, power from where um, basically leading with a hard power. That, that's what's coming through. That's that power here. So if you keep that and reconnecting with your heart, um, then you really like staying and perpetuating that gratitude energy of magic um, and creating magic in your life. <laughs> So that's it. And I had another question that I was going to do. Oh, there's more. <laughs> there's more. Of course, I forgot. How can I forget the rest of the magic? Here is um, a red star that showed up, a sparkle glitter star. And um, uh, red, as I said, like stands for um, power. Um, and um, I'm just intuitively like tuning in like the star. Um, let me quickly see. I had a a chart that I haven't looked at in a long time um, for that. I'm just quickly going to grab that to really capture that. So pausing that super quickly, actually. <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> so here's a chart uh, of my uh, reference that I, uh, I now have in my head mostly, but um, <laughs> Uh, what each color means when I uh, decode readings and um, uh, yeah, that's my personal chart. So here I added stickers and, and uh, there's diff I, I learned from different teachers, but I, um, I really like made this my own and, um, and just follow intuition. Um, but some of my teachers were um, Rachel Archelaus. She has a really cool intuitive drawing book. I want to give kudos to her. She inspired me to meditate on colors and make a chart and then use that as a reference to decode drawings. Um, I also learned from Dora Rodriguez. I want to give love to her too. Um, took a shamanic painting class from her. She's super amazing and um, actually where I learned the deep power of um, such drawings of the energy power like she's selling them for $500 um, up and stuff um, where there's yeah and it, there's really energy used in them <laughs> anyway you get to experience it but like so here um, uh, the the sparkle star um, right here um, as you see it stands like for uh, being on fire and lit up I didn't even remember that it hasn't shown up in a long time so so here's here's the thing for you, like how you can perpetuate that 
um, gratitude birthday energy and create magic in your life. And I just keep repeating that question just so that we're like, we stay aware of like what we're talking about here and to really grasp the meaning and the energy of it all. So being on fire, um, lit up, um, that like, keep honing in on that and it's like really stands out here right it's on top of it it's also connected to um the divine feminine like soul power of standing in that um zen soul power um all that it's like it's almost like it's coming out of that <laughs> so it, i almost see it like also like um this is a result of being on fire and lit up when you're in that energy but um if you can use it both ways um because like when you are lit up and um on fire and you're feeling that then of course you're also like um perpetuating that energy of gratitude magic birthday party sparkle that manifests magic in your life right so so all of that um can go both ways like you can focus on that and like really connecting with your inner soul power and um uh being lit up like and, and asking yourself like how can i ah, what if I were totally lit up right now? How would I show up right now? Right? You can ask it, this are some coaching questions, how to get there, right? You can dance it out. You can ask yourself, like, what do I need right now to, uh, that would really light me up? What would be the thing that would like totally like make me feel on fire? Like what, you know, play with it, right? Just being curious, that brings you, um, brings you in that energy and like sometimes and here's here's another coaching bit that's coming through um it's not all bubbles and sparkles right like we're human and we're going through life and like um thank goodness we're also getting challenges because they allow us to grow right so sometimes what can happen is that um when you're focusing on like i want to be lit up and i want to blah um that some shadow sides show up like some patterns that are like interference like limiting beliefs and um things like that so just be curious and the more you um just are curious and then keep coming back to this but are cu be curious to what shows up because um then we can notice what no longer serves us and transmute those things and release them and uh, the more we do that and let go of um like for example like um if i believe that just like a random example that comes to me if i believe um money is evil or being rich i i turn into a bitch <laughs> um ah oh, which is actually a belief that i carried for a while <laughs> like i'm gonna be a bitch and i turn rich it's like totally ridiculous right so if, as long as we carry those things in our subconscious and like don't catch them they're just floating somewhere they are like affecting our energy and actually interfering with the magic um that we want to manifest in our life and like and it's not just about what we want to manifest for us but it's literally showing up fully in life so we can bring our gifts to the world to so that the people who are meant to serve can receive them right if we have all this interference that we carry with us and keep it then obviously these people are also missing out because we're not fully showing up right Anyway, so I feel like this is coming to a close. This was enough. <laughs> um, this is the, yeah, I'm so grateful that I got to do this for you, Jane. Um, let's, oh, this, I forgot. Last pieces. Here, these two showed up too. Um, <laughs> so this is funny. Um, this is the other piece, like double heart, right? I felt inspired to put a heart on the Hello Kitty drawing. So um, playful energy, tuning into your heart that definitely is part of like perpetuating the gratitude energy so you can create magic, magic manifest magic in your life and fully show up and have all these amazing things unfold <laughs> playing playing like there's all this playful inspiration here like picking up different things just having fun and collecting them in your heart space and like what i don't even know there's a bunch of stuff we can read into this and we don't have to go to it's it's not doesn't have to be locked in but here's a lot of playfulness as inspiration and brown showed up as a heart brown means grounding like keep grounding in your heart um and just have fun um and then <laughs> this is funny like both sides here like be a daredevil pirate check this out like um also from the energy of fun i love the minions <laughs> And then here are the soulful part, like here's the meditating minion. Have you ever seen a meditating minion? I didn't even know there's a drawing of that. <laughs> so here's a soulful spiritual minion. And that's obviously part of the old magic. And I'm glad that it showed up at the end as like 
all this is like universe magic connected, right? It's, it's, um, we're not doing this alone. We're supported. There's magic all around us. So trust it and keep connecting with your heart and feel it in your heart. You also access this with a burgundy color with a soul connection and really listening within and trust your own intuition. Um, and that's it. A lot of information. <laughs> Let me know how this resonates. And if you uh, want to have more access to other questions, to other readings, to brand magic readings, or to coaching, um, any, or you're just curious, you're just like, hey, help me with something. I don't even know. I want to talk to you, right? It's like leading that heart space. Like if your heart calls you, to, um, to talk more with me, let me know. I have a ton of things, um, magic waiting for anybody who's hell yes ready. So let's talk if that happens. <laughs> All right, that was it. Like my name is Astrid Mueller. I'm sending you much love around the globe. Feel free to share this with whoever you feel inspired to share it with. And I wish you um, a lot of magic. Bring your magic to the world. Um, I see you're up to amazing things as well. So much love. Bye.